is Safira here, and today I'm going to show you how you can make your own custom brush in Photoshop. This comes in handy when you, for example, want to make a sky full of stars. We're going to create a custom star brush. We start with creating a new canvas. I usually pick the size 500 by 500 pixels with a transparent background and click on OK. Now you can pick a hard round brush and place random dots on your canvas. Don't make too many, just a couple. After that, go to Edit, Define Brush Preset and name it Stars. Take the brush and create some sort of background and give it a try. As you can see, it's not quite like how we want our stars. I will show you how to fix this. Go to brush or window and then brush and we are going to play with these settings. Click on the shape dynamics and play with size jitter and angle jitter. You can use the numbers I'm using right now, but it's really up to you how you like your stars. And next up we go to scattering and this will scatter our brush. Be sure to have both axes ticked on and the count I keep at one because we don't want a cluster of stars. Go to the new layer icon and create your final brush. Give it a name and you're good to go. So now that we have our brush, I will use it to create a simple galaxy. And note that I only use the normal brushes from Photoshop, so not ones I've downloaded and made myself. So everyone can try this out. I use round soft brushes to create the galaxy mixed with a crayon-like brush. Photoshop has a couple of these and it's just which one you prefer. And be sure to have the option pressure for opacity on. It's right at the top. You can, I will highlight it when I click. This really helps you with painting. It's, it's a really important tool of Photoshop. So either way, I just start out making some sort of galaxy using the round brush and the crayon brushes. And I play around with bright colors and galaxies are really, really colorful. So you can be as creative as you like. I mostly pick um, a very light blue, a mint color green and yellow and some sort of magenta color. And I mostly use two or three layers, uh, one for base colors and a second one I go over with a colored layer and I will set it to the layer mode lighten and mostly I also have another layer and I also add some color on there and set that layer mode to screen. And this really helps to give it a galaxy feel. So finally, take that awesome brush we created and make stars appear. Even finalize them with a nice glow to really finish the drawing. You can go to the effects option and tick on the glow and make the stars glow. So this was the very, very quick custom brush tutorial. And I really, really hope you liked it and found it helpful. And you can create all sorts of brushes. So not only stars, of course, this is just, I just showed you how you can do it. So be creative and create your own brushes in Photoshop. Okay, <laughs> thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.